Hello, my name is Sujata Saha and I'm principal of Heritage Regional High School. Uh, I'm very, very lucky to be um, and to have been a part of this school for a number of years. Um, I wish this was different. I wish we would be able to see each other live. Uh, but we felt it was very important uh, to kind of show you what our school is all about. Because I understand that at this time, uh, whether it's next year or in a couple of years, uh, you're facing a big decision. And you're starting to explore what are the possibilities out there. And it's important that uh, the parents and the kids together uh, see what's, what's available as an option. So I'm here to speak about this amazing school. Uh, and I don't just say that. I have uh, sent my own three children through this school. And there's a reason why. Um, I think one of our main goals at this school is to make sure that everyone feels comfortable. And there are many, many ways we do this. Uh, particularly for our grade stu uh, seven students, uh, we start with our readiness camp in August to make sure that you know the the normal uh, anxiety that comes with uh, transitioning to a different school is alleviated. So it's normal to be nervous when you're going from uh, a smaller environment, uh, something that's familiar to a bigger environment, but it's also uh, an exciting feeling. So we, we start with our readiness camp. The other thing we do to make sure that students are comfortable is we, we are a big school. Uh, physically, there's nothing we can do about our dimensions. Uh, but because we are so big, we tend to uh, offer uh, little programs so that students have a sense of belonging. So we do have our general studies program, uh, which is our biggest program, uh, where students are um, transitioning into the environment where half their, te half their uh, courses will be with their core teachers. What I mean by that is that when you come to high school, uh, you over two weeks, you have 40 periods. And so in grade seven, if you're in the general studies program, you will be living 20 of those periods with a single teacher, which is your core teacher. And that helps uh, develop that sense of belonging and that go-to person. The other thing we offer in the general studies, as well as in another uh, of our program, which is the IB program, it's something we're very proud of. We have the Francais Langue d'Enseignement, also known as Francais Langue Maternelle program, uh, which comes with uh, science en français, géographie, histoire en français, and uh, éthique en français. So these are for students that are fluent, that are bilingual, and that want to strengthen their uh, languages. The other programs we offer, and we will have the coordinators speak to you about later on, are the International Baccalaureate Middle Years Program, the Fine Arts Focus Program, the ICANN Program, and the Sports Excellence Program. Uh, all to be able to uh, further pursue your interest and your passion, because we believe uh, that is obviously very important in the teenage years. Um, going back on our theme about feeling comfortable, we cannot read your mind um, at school. We haven't developed that, uh, but we really, really encourage questions. And so we have a lot of adults uh, being able to support you as you get to know Heritage better. We have uh, student supervisors, we have technicians in attendance. Obviously, we have a tremendous uh, staff. Um, of teachers, um, and we also have the admin team. Uh, at Heritage, you can simply walk into to anyone's office and ask uh, your question uh, to relay your concern. And at some point, you'll get the courage to, to come to us and hopefully pitch your idea. And often this happens and, you know, Young voices matter and they make us think. So it's something we encourage. 
It's something that um, we facilitate by having an open door policy as much as possible. We hope that at some point we'll be able to offer you tours so that you can come and see our amazing facilities. Uh, you can kind of get a glimpse of what life looks like at Heritage. Uh, maybe gain an understanding of all the extracurricular activities that, that we offer because high school is more than just the academics. Uh, it's really a, a whole package, an experience where over five years you develop a great sense of attachment uh, to certain things and you will, you will gain um, a lot of, I guess, you will explore a lot of uh, interest that you might develop over your, your time here. Uh, again, do not hesitate to ask any questions. Uh, you can always uh, look at our website and find the right person to communicate with. Uh, depending on what your question is and we hope uh, to see you soon. To the younger students out there uh, looking into high school, this is a big, big decision that you face and I'm encouraging you to talk to your family. Uh, I'm also encouraging you to, to explore on what different schools have to offer. Ultimately, I would always my one recommendation is that you follow your heart. Uh, your heart should be a big part of your compass uh, and it will lead to the right decision, the best decision that's for you. So thank you and I hope you enjoyed the rest of the virtual open house. I'm here to talk to you about a branch of student life at Heritage known as the house system. Our school is divided into four houses. Everyone in the school, meaning all students, teachers, technicians, secretaries, VPs, even the principal and the janitors belong to a house. The four houses are named after famous Huskies, Polaris, Kalima, Togo, and Balto. Each house is associated with a specific color, blue, red, yellow, and green. Throughout the year, my fellow heads of house and I organize friendly competitions. The team that obtains the most points for each activity gets to see its house flag displayed in the main foyer. The team that accumulates the most points throughout the year wins the house cup in June. Every month we count how many people have dressed up for theme days like orange shirt day or pink shirt day. We have what we call wacky Wednesdays once a month too. These are silly competitions during which we have in the past taped people to walls had over a hundred people popping balloons in the main foyer, tried to keep balloons up in the air for five minutes, and played a giant game of snakes and ladders and a rock, paper, scissors tournament too. We also read a trivia quiz over the Chronicle live each month. Everyone in the school tries to get the correct answers. Believe it or not, there's a lot of Googling going on. 
Heritage students are also involved in recycling for house points. But why was the house system introduced at Heritage way back in 2006? Well, Heritage is a pretty big place. By dividing the entire school into four teams and making every single person at Heritage part of one of these teams, it helps create a sense of belonging. The school seems smaller right away. You feel like you already have some friends that are on your side. You get to meet people and step out of your comfort zone. You get to grow up at Heritage while having a lot of fun. We're really looking forward to seeing you get involved when you get to Heritage. What house do you want to be a part of? Hi, I'm Shayla. And I'm Josh. And we're here to talk to you about our favorite Heritage tradition, Leadership Camp. There are two Leadership Camps that take place every year at Heritage. One for senior students in the fall, and one for juniors in the spring. It's really hard to explain what makes Leadership Camp so special, so we figured we'd try to show you instead. One of the best things about Leadership Camp is that it is open for everyone. It brings students from all programs together for a two or three day adventure surrounded by nature. Speaking of nature, depending on the year, we've had fall camps that feel like summer camps and others where we were in snow up to our elbows. That's right. You have to be ready for anything at Leadership Camp. Students who attend Leadership Camp get divided into teams. Each team gets its own team flag or banner and cheer to show off their team spirit and gain points for their group. The team with the most points at the end of the camp gets to hold the title of Camp Champion. But it's not just about the points. Leadership Camp gives you the chance to make new friends, try something new, and push yourself out of your comfort zone. You don't have to be a leader to go to Leadership Camp, but you will definitely leave feeling more confident, motivated, and supported. If you have the chance to attend one of these amazing camps, you should definitely do it. It's an experience you will never forget. And who knows, maybe you'll get to meet our famous camp mascot, Randy. We hope to see you there. So, hi guys. Uh, we're very anxious for you to possibly join Heritage. And today we're going to be presenting to you the Student Council. So, the Student Council is an administrative group made up of student volunteers who have been chosen by their peers through an interview process. The Student Council leader is either elected by the student population or may volunteer based on years of service and experience in the Student Council. So, as an administrative group, the Student Council represents the whole student population and their needs. I mean, those needs are reported to the principal as a proposal to affect change in the school. If these changes are agreed upon, it's up to the student council members to affect said change. Apart from the administrative role of the student council, it is the council's responsibility to develop the student life of the heritage population. This is done through various student-run activities such as theme days like pajama day or fancy Friday, school-wide activities such as the welcome back rally and winterlude, and fundraisers to support student activities. So, um, as of now, because of our situation relating to COVID, we have a new way of choosing our members to be in the student council. So there's going to be an email sent to your parents when you start the school year, and it's a link to a forms document where all you have to do is put in your name, your grade level, your hub number, and your email, of course, so we can contact you, and you're in. I mean, if you're motivated to make change in the school, then you're motivated to participate in the Student Council. For the time being, we are not going to have a set of scheduled meetings. All of our communications will be done via Teams on a need basis. Whenever we need the Student Council to complete a task, we will call on you on Teams. Students will be asked to volunteer to help support each task assigned to the Student Council. So some of the Student Council responsibilities include surveying students about future activity ideas. So the way that we do this is we do online surveys about once a month and we want to understand what the students want to have in their activities in the future. I mean it's very important for us for the students to have a voice to determine what they want to see at Heritage regarding student life. Uh, there will also be hub decorating ideas and so hubs are going to be asked to personalize their classes, add little touches that they feel really represents them, and the council will coordinate with the hubs in terms of themes, such as 
for Christmas. They exactly. make little wreaths. Or even Halloween that's coming up fairly yep. soon after the start of the school year. Mm -hmm. So we also want to uh, motivate you guys to participate in hub activities. So we're going to be developing simple activities, which is part of the student council's role. And these activities are animated through either a recorded or a live feed that's sent to the hubs. We ask that student council members develop a bank of ideas based on the student survey, like we spoke about right above, right before. The student council will also develop lunchtime activities for both junior and seniors to participate in so that everybody can have a little bit of fun during lunchtime. It's very important to us that all members of the HRHS community feels welcomed at our school. Yep. And there will also be theme days, such as getting dressed up for PJ Day or Crazy Hair Day or Fancy Friday. And these actually get quite interesting if you're participating in them. They're quite fun. Oh, yes. So we would like for the student council to take on a year-long task with Project Ensemble. So that's going to be a new project that we're going to be starting with Project Ensemble and the student council who will be um, working, together. working together. And the purpose of this project is to promote diversity in our school. So, yeah. So we really hope that you join Heritage and that you maybe even come and join the Student Council. We look forward to seeing you next year. Bye, guys. Hi, I'm Heather Craig, and I teach Secondary One here at Heritage. And I'm Jean-Martin Piet, audiovisual technician. We're here to talk to you about Heritage Regional High School's most explosive show, The Bomb. If you've got talent, we can't wait to see it on the big stage. For over 30 years, students and even staff members have participated in our school's biggest display of talent. Students from all grades and programs can audition for their shot to participate in this amazing variety show. Over the years, we've had a huge dance numbers, bands of all kinds, singers, comedians, magicians, and even a knockout karate performance. The show often has a theme that celebrates breakthrough artists, genres of music, cultural movements, or even decades. The Bomb takes place every December. Proceeds from the show are donated to our Holiday Hope campaign, which provides food baskets for families in need in the HRHS community. The Da Bomb cast performs three shows every year to sold-out audiences. Though our performers have enough talent to get everyone on their feet, our tech and stage crew are the behind-the-scenes artists who make sure everyone looks and sounds their best. Our tech and stage crew students are the ones who run all the technical aspects of Heritage's shows and events. Through their involvement in the crew, they get to learn how to use state-of-the-art audiovisual equipment, techniques to be efficient backstage, and how to produce videos of the events. The tech and stage crew is an extracurricular activity that is available to all of the HRHS population. The only requirement is a general interest in the technical aspects of a show. We are very lucky at Heritage to have an excellent auditorium facility, which is constantly maintained for us to be able to use the latest technologies in stage equipment. Students also have access to our multimedia studio to carry on a wide variety of audio and video projects using professional tools. This is where our daily newscast, Chronicle Live, is produced, as well as this virtual open house. Hey!